Hi, I'm Martha Higdon, and I want to show you today how I go about finding a design for my free motion um, for this quilt. This quilt is called the Granny Garden Sew by Lori Holt. You'll recognize it right away. It's beautiful. And um, each design was different, and so I was trying to come up with designs of how I wanted to quilt it. So they have this great stuff called Quilters Preview Paper. Comes in a roll like this, and it's a plastic roll, and you unroll it. And then I cut it to the size of my block. And what I did here is I placed it over the block and I am on the last row, so I'm almost finished quilting with it. So I just lifted it up and I placed it down over the block. You see I put a black, it's um, dry erase marker in this plastic and I have painter's tape it down. And this is how I want to audition how I would free motion um, this quilt block. So what I've decided is to do feathers. So what I've done is just take my dry erase markers. Remember, this is not on the quilt. You wanna make sure you don't get the dry erase marker anywhere near the quilt. And then I am just gonna practice. One, I when I was deciding how I wanted to quilt it, and then once you decide, then you can practice on here to make your design. Here I'm just doing feathers all the way around. And the black mark is what I placed earlier. It just shows me that I'm in my block. And the one thing about this is the fabrics are beautiful, but you're not going to see a lot of the quilting because it gets lost in the beautiful fabric. But what you want to do, you have to have some quilting to hold the block down. So what I chose to do is just feathers. And I'm just going all the way around the block, filling it in. And if you don't like it, you just take a piece of batting and then take those dry erase markers back off. So I'm just going all the way around the block with feathers. Okay, and that's how I decided to do the outside of the block. Um, because there's applique um, in this block, it will need some quilting. So what I've done is I have started at the bottom. I'm trying to do continuous so I don't have so many start and stops. So what I've done is I've come up the leaf, I've gone around the flower leaf, and then I've just come up and made a stem in it. I've come up to the next one, I go inside, I come around the leaf, and then I go up as a vine, and then I go up. And then I come inside just a little bit and I outline around the flower. And then if you want, you can come around and put a second one. And then you could also come inside. I went around and I came in and I did a swirl. Then I've got to travel and come back down. And I come down this side, I go around and then up with the vein, come down, go around and up with the vein, and then come around. Then I did an echo. That means I just went a quarter inch around the design. And that's what I did all the way around. I would suggest using about a 50 weight thread. I placed a 40 weight thread in there and it's beautiful, but I think a 50 weight would have been a little bit, I think it would have been better. Um, it's not as full and thick and um, it would look great. But again, you need enough to lay the applique down so that it lays flat and it's not gonna pop up. You could add some more flowers out there on here on each side if you wanted to. Again, when I'm done, I can take it off and take a look at it to see if it's something I like. Um, and if it's, I decided I like it, then now I've practiced it with the dry erase marker. So I have some muscle memory so that when I go to quilt it, it'll quilt out. And I want to show you how on some of these, you're gonna have to have the quilting in those applique blocks to hold it down. And all I did is went inside and then I echoed outside the design went around the circle, I made my scallops, and I also went around the circle. But you can see here on this block, there's feathering in there, but you can't see it. But I know it's there and it's laying flat. I'm gonna show you how I quilt out this one here, like our design. So I quilt on a handy quilter forte, 
I'm gonna move my stuff out of the way. This quilter's preview paper is just for me to view. Um, it's not to transfer or place it on the quilt, and then I decide how I want to quilt it. You can always change your mind if you don't want that. That's what preview paper is for. I've turned my lights off. I am in free motion. I do have my sure foot on because I'm using rulers in the other work. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go needle down, needle up, and I'm gonna pull my bobbin thread to the top. Or no, I'm not because I don't have any bobbin loaded. So let me quickly get a bobbin in there loaded for us. This is a beautiful quilt, and I'm gonna tell you it's very time consuming, but I'm sure those that piece this quilt is also going to tell you that it was very time consuming, but a lot of fun. Um, so I like to tell people what it takes you to piece it. It's going to take that much to quilt it. So I'm always going to test my bobbin before I place it in. All right, so I'm in preview, or I'm in um, free motion. I am in cruise, and my percentage is set at 325. It varies depending on what design I am doing, but I like cruise mode when I am um, free motion going around. So I went needle down, needle up. I have a locking stitch that I can plus, and it makes my locking stitch. And then I am going to start with my feathers all the way around. And I'm just gonna go all the way around the block. Then I will stop it. It stays in the needle down. Because I'm using rulers, I'll trim that thread out of the way. And then I'll go back to, to my feathers. I chose feathers because they were fast for me because I'd been practicing. And basically I just needed the box the block to lay flat. As you can see, you can't really see the thread because of the beautiful fabrics, but it is there and it laid it, that laid it block flat. And then now I'm ready to go inside the flower. I can travel or I can cut my threads and come back around. And so what I'm doing is I'm gonna go up the side. I can stay in cruise mode or I can go back to precision mode. So I can go back and show you precision mode. I'm gonna go up the leaf. I'm just gonna go around the leaf and then I'm gonna go inside with the vein. I'm gonna go up the stem. I'll go around the leaf. Now, if you're not, um, you're still learning free motion, um, you can use um, any type of ruler that helps you stay around it. But again, I'm trying to be organic and free motion um, and just quilting away. And then up through the vein, and then up. And I'm gonna go inside the flower. And I'm coming in about a quarter of an inch. I'm just kind of doing an inside outline of the flower. Because that applique has to lay flat, it's going to have to have quilting on it. Here I can come up and do my circle to make sure that it lays flat. And I can come back the outside and go back around it. 
Now I've got to come down and come back the other side of the stem. I go inside the stem and then up through with the vein. Next one I go out and around and back up with the vein. And then I'm going to do the quarter inch round just like I did on the preview paper. I have used the, a ruler to make sure that I was staying around. But if you don't want to, if you get fast, or you feel like you can use your foot as a guide, which is what I'm doing now, notice that I'm hesitating so that it stops in the points so I don't have rounding points. Back around the flower, the petals, back down, and coming back around. So you have to decide how you want to quilt each of these blocks um, because there's quite a few blocks, but you will have to have some quilting in the block to make them lay flat. So I hope this gives you just one way that you can quilt um, this quilt and quilt those blocks. There's many other ways, um, but that's just one way of how I am quilting this beautiful quilt. So look for more videos on how I'm going to finish the quilt with the rulers. Thanks for watching and you can check out my YouTube page. You can check out my website at quiltingbymartha.com or my Facebook page at Around the Vine Quilting. Hope to see you at a show soon.